Good evening and welcome to prayer at the end of the day. My name is Cantor Kirchman and I am here in our Katie Luther Chapel at Zion Ministries Under the Cross in Deerfield Beach, Florida. We've just concluded another week of our Bible study, The Son of God, The Life of Jesus and You, and we're anxious to be joined by others who here on Facebook Live are ready to pray, to set aside their day, to give thanks to God and to pray for a peaceful rest. If you are following us on Facebook Live and this is your first time here worshiping with us, we invite you to say hello in the comments. Let us know who you are and where you're from. If you are a regular for our prayer at the end of the day, we invite you to do the same and to greet one another as we will do here in person. If you'd like to follow a bulletin for this evening's service, those here in person have hard copies. An electronic copy, copy can be found on our website, which is zion-lutheran.org slash worship and if you scroll down you'll see prayer at the end of the day resources the bulletin is the same each week but i've opted to change out the song for tonight and you'll see there a separate download for the song give me jesus those are our pre-service announcements let us begin as we always do with some deep breathing and as we breathe in we breathe in the love and the grace and the compassion that god has for us we breathe out all of the stress and the anxiety and the worry that the world tries to keep on us. So let's go ahead and just breathe out and cleanse everything. And take a nice deep breath in. <coughs> and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. We know that it is with breath that God created life and breathes, uh, breathed the spirit into us. And it's that spirit that we feel this evening. Let us begin our prayer service with the opening dialogue. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Our night hymn for this season is the day you gave us, Lord, has ended. We will sing verses 1 and 5. Christ, in whom we are forgiven. 
We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. Our hymn this evening is the one that is being substituted out for I want Jesus to walk with me. We're singing that on Sunday mornings as well, so we know there are other wonderful hymns to sing. And as we think about the season of Lent and our Lord's suffering, especially tonight, uh, and the ways that we can deal with suffering and process suffering and live and work through suffering, the hymn that speaks to me, perhaps most of all, is Give Me Jesus. That in the midst of all of those moments of suffering, who I really need to follow and fall into and embrace is Jesus. We will sing verses one, two, and five. Give me Jesus, one, two, and five. scripture reading this evening comes from the theme passage for tonight's Bible study again the life of Jesus in you and as we look at the topic of suffering and what that means we look to Romans chapter 5 beginning with verse 1 Paul writes Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, 
Perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man, though for a good man someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. we enter even deeper into our prayer time and we look ahead to the response in the gospel canticle we know what we are asking of God guard us sleeping guide us waking that we may watch with Christ and rest in peace we begin with a response your portions are in bold. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands, I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I command my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in Eternal God, the hours of both day and night are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger, and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day, especially for the good we were permitted to give and to receive. The day is now past, and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night. We rest securely, for you are our help. And you neither slumber nor sleep. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Before we get to sharing the peace, just a few brief announcements. Thank you to those who have joined us in person tonight. Thank you to those who are praying with us online. Again, let us know that you were here uh, as part of this larger Zion praying community. Uh, we have our prayer list on our website. If you'd like to add names to that list, you can do so right there, zion-lutheran.org slash pray. Uh, we worship on Sunday mornings at 11. We are looking ahead to week three in our sermon series, One Day at a Time, Living the Serenity Prayer. So this week it is courage to change the things I can. And as we look forward to that, uh, if you know somebody that would benefit from hearing this sermon series, please invite them to join us either in person on Sundays at 11 or again here via Facebook Live, same date and time. Uh, we look forward to next Wednesday when our Bible study continues at 6, preceded by a potluck meal at 5.30. Bring what you can if you can. Uh, we continue ahead in the Bible study, uh, the Son of God, life of Jesus in you, and again, concluding our evening here, prayer at the end of the day, also on Facebook Live. We're looking ahead to another Art for Healing workshop on Sunday, March 27th. If you were in uh, worship last Sunday in person, you had an option, or you had an opportunity, I should say, to participate. Not really an option, as I think grudgingly chased some of you uh, to participate in the painting. You'll have a chance to see the finished products this Sunday and, uh, and know that this is one of those experiences that, uh, much like temptation and suffering and the things we've been talking about, this is an opportunity to lean into a prayerful experience and to pursue healing and wholeness. So uh, if there's something going on in your life that you need to work through in some way, uh, this is a great opportunity to do it, to let your artistic muscles flow. I'm not a visual artist at all, uh, and I have no shame in showing you the last painting that I did with Art for Healing, uh, but it is a very prayerful process. And chances are, if I'm pushing you to participate, I, has, I suspect that you also might benefit from it. So I ask you to prayerfully consider it. That will be Sunday, March 27th, following our worship service right here in Katie Luther Chapel. We look ahead even to Holy Week. That schedule will be published probably sometime next week uh, for services on Palm Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and of course, Easter Sunday. Uh, still lots going on and, and much to look forward to. Uh, make sure that you're receiving our weekly newsletter by email, that you're checking the website regularly, that you're following us on social media. All of those are wonderful things. And then when all else fails, simply just show up. You never know how God is going to work through you or speak to you or speak to others through you uh, by being present. And I think those that attended our Bible study this evening can attest to that. So those are the announcements that I have. Again, thank you to those who joined us online to pray to those of you here in person as well uh, you make this not so lonesome an experience uh, to pray in community um, you know that we did that for over a year uh, with praying from our homes and uh, let me tell you this is different and different in a good way so as you go from here may uh, god grant you a peaceful rest the peace be with you peace of the lord be with you always we invite you to share a sign of that peace in the comments if you're worshiping with us online. We're going to take a moment and share that peace with each other here in the room. Wish you a wonderful night. Wish you God's peace, a peaceful rest, and a peaceful end to the rest of your week. Have a wonderful evening. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Awesome. Let's share that peace with one another. Have a wonderful night. Peace. 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 Peace.